Greetings ladies and gentlemen, today I have a simple playtime counter for you guys. As you can see on the bottom there, it says playtime, days, hours, minutes, and seconds. So I'm going to be showing you how to do this. It's really easy. All it takes is eight command blocks and a little bit of your time. So let's start out with the first thing you need to do, and that's to add the objectives. So you want to add this one here, which is seconds. You want to add this one here, which is minutes this one here which is hours and then finally this one here which is days you don't have to add days you don't have to add seconds you can add whatever objectives you want but for this one I'm doing days hours and minutes and seconds so you have to add those objectives before you start this or the playtime counter will not work alrighty after you add those objectives um, here's our first command block as you can see it says add second make sure it's repeating always active and as you can see, simple. Scoreboard, players, add, at A, seconds. And you want to make sure the delay in ticks is 20, because 20 ticks is one second. So you can see here, 20 ticks, and it's going up in seconds, as you can see. So this is very important. This is what will basically fuel the whole thing, is this command block right here. Now this one here is to display the time at the bottom. It's a convolute command. It's a personal scoreboard, which I did an in-depth video in my last one. So if you want to check that out, I'll put a link in the description. But yeah, here is the command for the personal scoreboard. I made it green. You don't have to make it green, but I think green looks pretty cool. So there is the personal scoreboard. Make sure it's a repeating, always active, delaying takes zero. And now on to the sort of complicated thing you have to do in this tutorial, but it, it's not that bad. So our first command block here, all this is going to do, all these command blocks, what these do is that they turn um, 60 seconds into a minute, 60 minutes into an hour, 24 hours into a day, and so on and so forth. So our first command block here is just going to be a repeating, always active, delaying to zero. Scoreboard players add at a scores equal six equals 60 dot dot minutes one and then this one right here is going to be chain always active the line takes zero scoreboard players remove at a scores equals seconds equals 60 dot dot seconds 60 so what this does is that when you hit 60 seconds like at the bottom boom when you hit 60 seconds it'll give you a minute and remove 60 seconds so it's an accurate um, playtime counter and then this is what the rest of these are so this one right here is a whoops forgot to show you repeating always active delaying ticks zero scoreboard players add at a scores equal minutes equals 60 dot dot hours one then this one is a chain always active delaying ticks zero scoreboard players remove at a equals minutes scores equal minutes equals 60 minutes 60 and once again this does the same exact thing as this except for minutes when you hit 60 minutes it'll take away your minutes and give you an hour so it's an accurate clock and then the final one here is for hours it's going to be repeating always active line take zero scoreboard players add at a scores equals hours equals 24 because 24 hours in a day not 60 and then it's going to give you one day. And then this one, chain, always active, delaying ticks, zero. They're all deli zero delaying ticks. And then this one's just going to be scoreboard players remove at A. Scores equals hours equals 24. And then hours 24. So when you hit 24 hours, it's going to remove 24 hours and give you a day. So it, it's pretty straightforward, or at least I hope this was pretty straightforward. There's not a lot going on here. Uh, playtime counter seems more complicated than it actually is. All you need is eight command blocks and just a little bit of your time. I'm still not exactly super acclimated to making videos like this, so let me know down in the comments how I did teaching and whatnot. Teaching isn't exactly my specialty, but I got a request to make a playtime counter tutorial. So thank you guys for watching this. I hope I taught you guys well. If not, then... um. My bad, fool. But I shall see you guys in the next episode. Possibly. Maybe. Who knows? I, I may go missing.